You know, you've got a lot of experience in minimally invasive and robotic surgery, which have required a paradigm shift in thinking. So I'm curious, you and I have been talking about virtual reality or augmented reality as potential training modalities for the future. What, what are your thoughts about that? I think virtual reality, augmented reality are, are both no-brainers. You know, all our young trainees, they have fewer hours. I may have done 25,000 flying hours and they they will come out with about 6,000. They have different cognitive processes. They have different expectation. Of course, disease has changed. You know, we have diseases of plenty, obesity, more cancers. And I, I, I always hark back to Jordan Shapiro, who wrote The New Childhood, and this is about kids and the digital age. We've got to travel the journey with them. And we've got to find new ways of giving them the experiences that will allow them to deliver the service we need to make human health better. And if that's a VR system so that their their cognitive rehearsal is better than ours, then that's the way it's got to be done. It is very clear that we cannot have that old firm structure where it's an apprenticeship. We now need a competence-based model and we need to work on those technical skills. And, and interestingly, VR, everyone thinks about the tasks, but of course you can use VR and, and augmented reality really well to teach someone how to do a good ward round. Absolutely, do, yeah. how to speak to a patient and yeah. all the rest of it. So I, I, I agree with you. I think it's, it's, you mentioned the Wild West. I think, it's, it's, I think the only thing limiting us is our imagination. And, yeah. you know, I, I fly airplanes for, for hobbies, uh, for a hobby. Um, and uh, using simulations has been part of our world for decades, um, going back to the 1930s with the link trainer. Um, and we can simulate things that you'd never want to do in a real airplane, right? 